Hey Diamonds, this is your girl Eva Teray right back at you with yet another video. To our newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the Diamond family. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you are notified as soon as I drop another video. I went to Walmart the other day and I was so super stoked to see that they had the entire collection from the lightest to the darkest that never happens at my wall at my local Walmart so I was really happy to see that they had that available I chose to get D70 which is a warm they also had a few um, well they had them all they also had um, cool and then they had neutral this was the darkest warm that they had i think it may be a little bit light so we're going to see if i can make it work um so i am going to apply it one side with a sponge one side with a brush i'm going to wear it then i'm going to come back and let you guys know how i feel about it so the deets on this it is a one fluid ounce bottle i believe i paid 8.49 for it I'm sure I pay $8.49 for it, which is not too bad. And D70 is in the color cappuccino. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is my first CoverGirl foundation. I believe the other one I have is Maybelline. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. So the claims for this foundation, it says True Blend Matte Maids formula is developed with a flex hole technology that creates a strong yet flexible film on the skin for durability and comfort while mattifying the while the mattifying powders absorb oil and minimizes pores with a soft flawless finish up to 12 hours wear so we're getting 12 hour comfort uh, comfort mat pore minimizing oil control transfer resistant I'm definitely going to try that out and of course it comes in the 40 shades so let's get into this first before anything I am going to go ahead and use my Tatcha silk canvas still my favorite primer and just look off into my mirror warm it up in my fingers And you know, I figured out what the hell this smells like. It smells like cake batter or cookie batter. I love it. Let's give this a good shake. I was stoked to see that it had a pump, which I love. And you can like, you know, turn it off and turn it on, which is awesome. So let's pump it out of here. It looks kind of thick. That is the shade. Okay, so first I am going to take a Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Bush. It is in the number F80. And let's do, it was just one pump, let's do this side. pump was decent it looks really really good you guys like super good I'm gonna see if I can get like a half a pump out yes totally controllable Ah, that looks great. One pump. Let me see if I can. Can you guys see the difference? 
color match is on point. Mm, the smell is okay. It is really, it goes on a lot thinner than it feels. So, that's good. I am going to blot this on for my beauty blender. I've already dampened it. It's a little dirty, but we're gonna look past that. I prefer using the brush better than the sponge. It kind of seemed like the sponge was just soaking up the foundation and kind of sheared it out. Um, so yeah, from this point on, I think I'm gonna use it with a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a bit so you can see it a little bit closer. All right, this is the Beauty Blender side. And this is the brush side. That's the one I definitely prefer. Uh, the foundation felt comfortable. It was lightweight, medium coverage, definitely not a full coverage foundation. And it was about 9.46 that I filmed this and applied this. So I'm going to wait about eight hours. I'm going to do some studying. And then I'll come back and let you guys know how the foundation held up. All right, I'm back, Diamond. So my thoughts on this foundation is I absolutely love it. Like, all 18, this is my go-to foundation. I took a piece of white paper, put it to my face, not a trace of it at all. I put it on around 9.40, and now it is close to... 5 10 a.m. I've been up all night studying so this 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 is it this is it I have extremely and when I say extremely oily skin it is extremely oily and you can't can't tell it all this is awesome so my final thoughts on this this is a very good formula I love it it's lightweight it wasn't transferable uh, it kept me matte, um, even though I'm extremely, extremely oily. I have nothing but good praises to say about this. It was paired very well with my uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas. So those are going to be my go-to uh, for this summer. It was lightweight. It was kind of hot in here. I went out, checked my mail. It was definitely, definitely give this a try. Go to your local Walmart. I was looking at a few places online. They were so completely out. But like I said, my local Walmart had every shade. So definitely try there. And that is it for this video, Diamonds. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and put those down at the bottom for me in the comment section. Please go ahead and give this video thumbs up can we get to at least 50 on this one if you guys like this review of the d70 and as always diamonds until next time